What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Apple Watch clock and weather widget on your iPhone. So it's actually pretty simple to do, all you need to do is add a repo, and then once you've added that repo, I'll put a link in the description below for that as well, so you guys can just copy and paste, as well as on the screen right here, but once you've added that repo, all you need to do is just go into the repo, and then tap on these three right here. So these are the three that you're going to want to download, the Apple Watch Chronograph, the Apple Watch Simple, and the Apple Watch Weather for lock HTML. Now, lock HTML 4 is what I'm using right now and it costs a dollar. So if you guys don't want to pay for this, these are all free. So you can actually copy and paste all of these files into Groovy Lock. So you have to do that within iFile and I'll put the directions on how to do that in the description below if you guys don't want to pay for, you know, lock HTML 4. But now once you've downloaded these and installed them, all you need to do is swipe over here to your settings and then we're gonna go into lock HTML4. And then of course, if you put these into Groovy Lock, then you would go into Groovy Lock. Make sure that it is enabled and then you can select your widget. So these are the three widgets that I have right here. So first, just to check out the Apple Watch clock chronograph style, we'll go ahead and go to our lock screen here. And you can see what that looks like right there. So it just has just a smooth second hand. It's actually updating like every 50 milliseconds. So you can see the date right behind that minute hand as well. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock and I'll show you the other ones. So if we check out the Apple Watch clock simple, you can see what that looks like right there. All right, so we have a little bit of a different look here, obviously a little more minimalistic, hence the word simple. And we don't have the uh, name of the day right there, we just have the day number or the date. And it looks pretty nice. But if we swipe to unlock again, we can actually check out the weather widget, which is probably the coolest one. If we go back here, you can see that we have a little bit of some issues uh, with the graphics right there, but it still looks pretty cool. Hopefully these will be fixed uh, soon. I'm not sure what the issue is right there. Hopefully just a graphic that's missing or that's not reading correctly. But you can see it has basically the weather all the way around. It has the time and then it has the current temperature. And if you tap on this, you'll actually see that we can get the current temperature as well as the temperature for the rest of the day. And if we tap one more time, this is going to be the percent of rain or the chance to rain throughout the day. So actually pretty cool. Now in order for this to show the correct time as well as temperature, you are going to have to edit that in iFile. So if we go over here to iFile and let's go all the way out to root, just to show you guys the path. So we're in root, so we're gonna go to var, and then we're going to go to mobile and then library. Then we're going to scroll down here to lock HTML right there. And then here we have all three of our widgets. So if we tap on the weather theme, for example, we tap on that. Then what you want to go into is the weather.js. So if we tap on that, then you're going to get this little pop up. We want to tap on text viewer and then you can tap on edit and that's going to allow you to edit this document. Now you don't want to mess with anything that you don't know what you're doing. Uh, right up here at the top is most likely all the uh, portion that you, you'll need to mess with. You don't need to mess with the city because that's actually not working right now. But what you do want to change is the woe ID right there. So var woe ID. So what you want to do is actually look up your woe ID and what that is is just where on earth ID. It's basically giving the widget an idea of exactly where you are, that way you can pull the weather from that particular location. You can also change the uh, unit of measure, so you can change it from imperial to metric if you wanna do that. And you can also change the time zone right here, so the time offset. So I have mine set to minus five when default is minus seven. So you just wanna go in there and then type in, so I mean you would literally just type right there, backspace it all the way out, and then type in your WO ID, save it, respring your device, and then you're good to go. Now again, keep in mind, if you do copy these files over to Groovy Lock, then you're gonna have to go into, instead of lock HTML right here, you're gonna go into Groovy Lock. Right there. And then it's gonna be in here and that's where you're gonna change it. So that's really all there is to it. Let me know what you guys think about these widgets from the Apple Watch on your iPhone in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.